Hi everyone, it's Ben RC with the Boca Voice, and today on Keys to Boca, I give you a quick market update. So I'm sitting in Farmhouse Kitchen. If you guys haven't been here, awesome restaurant. I'm sitting right before uh, the lunch hour, uh, but I want to give you a quick snapshot of what's going on in our market. It's the number one thing that comes up, especially as you're seeing the interest rates climb. Uh, a lot of people are curious, you know, is now the time to sell? Is now the time to buy? Uh, so let's look at our market. Um, so one of the benefits I have with our association is they give us a snapshot um, of what the numbers are and truthfully numbers don't lie. So if you're a buyer or you're a seller, you know, know your numbers and then make that decision if you want to buy or sell. So what I always do is I break the market up. So today we're going to look at single family homes and then we're also going to look at townhomes and condos. Uh, we're going to compare the numbers from last year at this time and we're going to compare it to how it's going this year and it'll give us, like I said, a nice snapshot of what's going on. So I'm going to look at things like the number of sales, uh, the median sales price, days on market and the supply of homes. Um, so let's jump into the numbers. So looking at single family homes, the number of sales. So last year at this time, there was 1146 sales. This year, slightly down, 1103 sales. And truthfully, you guys know, there's not a lot of good inventory out there. Uh, so that, that number really doesn't surprise me. Looking at townhomes and condos, uh, last year at this time, 847 sales and 911 this year. Uh, so that has gone up. And if you guys recall one of my market updates from last year, you can see that the, to the townhomes and condos, uh, that market actually suffered a little bit uh, and the numbers weren't as strong. So this is really rebounding um, from what it was last year. So, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised uh, to see that. I'm very happy. Uh, looking at median sales price. So last year, single family homes, 310,000. This year, 325,000. For uh, townhomes and condos, last year 150,000, and these numbers are also up at 170,000. So across the board, uh, and I'm sure if you're a buyer out there, you are seeing that the prices have slightly risen um, from what they were last year at this time. Uh, now looking at days on market. So this is the marketing time. So this is when you're ready to sell your home, you put your house on the market, and this is the amount of time to actually have an executed contract. Um, so lower the number, the better for a seller. So last year for single family homes, it was roughly 57 days. So just shy of two months, uh, that's how long it took to get an executed contract for your home, and sometimes sooner. Uh, this year, the average is 48 days. So that number has come down. So if you're a seller, those numbers definitely work in your favor. For townhomes and condos, uh, it's exactly the same from last year to this year. It's roughly 49 days. So overall, that is still very healthy. It's taking a little bit less than two months to sell your home. If your home's priced right, if it shows well, uh, and if, you really, if you're really out there and you're a buyer, you know that's act, that time's actually even shorter. Some of these properties are selling in two days, three days, 24 hours, because uh, the market is uh, very strong overall. But this is an average of our overall market. Uh, and now uh, we're looking at the supply of homes. So this is what I look at to see where we are. So supply of homes, uh, defined really is the amount of months it takes to sell off the current inventory. So a lot of experts say that six months is a balanced market. Anything above six months uh, tends to be more of a buyer's market. Uh, anything under six months tends to be uh, and lean more towards a seller's market. So single family homes, last year it was around 5.3 months. This year it's gone down even a little bit more at 5.2. And again, if you're out there on the market, uh, you can see that these homes are selling. There are not a lot of um, there isn't a whole lot of inventory out there. Uh, so again, that number doesn't surprise me. With townhomes and condos, uh, we're right around 6.2 months and that hasn't changed from last year um, to this year. So guys, that's a snapshot of our local market. Um, if you are a seller, if you are a buyer, these numbers are not gonna surprise you. Uh, it is a very strong market. It really doesn't matter what fence um, or side of the fence that you're on. If you're looking to sell, you're, you're, you're probably going to get a decent number. And if you're looking to buy, Yes, um, the, the market is, uh, I don't wanna say high, it is, it is strong, but there is still some very good inventory out there. Interest rates are low. Um, so I think it's very favorable for everybody. So what do you guys think? Uh, if you are actively out there selling your home, if you're buying a home, leave comments below. Let me know what your personal experiences are. You guys know I love to connect with you. And thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you haven't yet, head over to our Facebook page, at the Boca Voice. Uh, hit that like button. We talk all things real estate, politics, restaurants, charities, everything else in between here in Boca. I'm Ben Arce coming to you from Farmhouse Kitchen in Royal Palm Plaza. Excellent place. Uh, I'll see you next week on Keys to Boca.